My dad is big into horse racing, actually. Uh, 1972, 1973, when uh, Secretariat won the Triple Crown, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, standing on top of the pole. You know, as the horse goes by, there's a guy there with this long hair down to here in his 70s hair. Hey, my name is Richie DiPietro, 26. Uh, I played Division I football of uh, College of William Mary and um, graduated early to come out here and actually manage the shopping center we have here. Um, it was my dad's kind of vision, dream, and you know, he kind of got sick, so we needed help and I stepped up right out of college the day after I graduated and just started working. So I uh, just kind of grabbed the bull by the horns and tried to figure it out. He loved horse racing, he's, he's always been into it and it's only right for us to call it jockeys and kind of continue with that theme for my dad, you know. So we've been open a year and a half. Um, food is freaking awesome. We've, we've obviously stumbled in, in the beginning, you know, I never was a server, I never cooked in a restaurant before, so going to something completely new uh, you got to learn quick, so uh, we were able to do that, and now we have a really solid menu, uh, coming out with creative things all the time. I mean, we had this burger uh, a few days back. It's covered in cheese, and it's just, you know, really cool that you get to be creative and uh, do things that you can't really do in any other business, so um, it's easy to be passionate about this kind of thing, and, and, and people feed off that energy, so bringing that, you know, the customers feel that you come here and you're like, dang, like, I really feel good about myself. Like it's not just like I'm going to Applebee's or something where you know you don't really think, you know, it's, I just go there to eat and leave, and you, know, you don't really have the experience. But we kind of drive that that at home here. Um, the other part of this uh, event thing we have here, you know, the restaurant event center, um, we have an 800-person event center in the back, and um, you know, we we kind of did a soft opening. We wanted it to to just test the waters a little bit. We're thinking 200 people are gonna show up. It's not gonna be a big deal. We didn't even open the second bar. We have two bars back there. And um, the town has been so behind us. So all of a sudden we come in and there's 600 and some 650 people there. It was ridiculous. Uh, a great time, everyone had so much fun, but um, it's just a testament to you know, how special we can be and, and, and what, what this venue is about. So um, the town's behind us. Um, and, and you know we just want to continue to, to create great experiences for people and, and fun basically. Along with a, a venue, we have the restaurant and bar, and you know this is our staple. This is this is the thing that you know we're really passionate about because these are the people that we see day in and day out. Um, we do trivia on Thursdays. We do live music Fridays, Saturdays. Um, we try and you know keep the entertainment going, keep people, give them something to do. Um, we have a great variety of drinks. I mean our, our margaritas are are pretty good. I mean, look, my fiance is Mexican, so I gotta have a good margarita. We have 20 beers on tap, which is really nice to have that selection. Uh, most people around here, they, they like to drink beer, so it's good, it's good to have that variety. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we're all about fun. We're all about good food, fast service, and a good time, you know, so. Things have been crazy. I mean, f at first when we found out um, March when things were going down with the whole coronavirus, we completely shut down for uh, three weeks or so. Yeah, three or four weeks it was. So it was a, it was a pretty long time to. But what we did in that time is we didn't just sit around. We kind of got a plan. We said, hey, what are we going to do to make this thing great? And we've kind of turned this, you know, we can only do carry out delivery thing into kind of an opportunity of us to improve our food, improve our systems, um, maybe focus on doing more delivery. Maybe that's something that we continue. And it, it's really helped us to elevate our game and and really bring it to the next level. Um, now, obviously, we can't have events or we can't have live music um, until further notice. But you know, doing things like w with Win and and uh, you know the bonanzas, which are online, which is was well, awesome idea. And I know you must be bored to death sitting at home all the time. So it gives you something to do. Uh, you know, we can still maintain that theme of where the fun place to be even when you're at home. So um, hopefully that helps you guys.